So happy 4th of July, Meisner makers. Hopefully we'll have a chance to see you over the holiday weekend. There's lots of great specials that are going on in all store locations. Um, also be sure to continue to follow us on our Facebook page and through our e-blast so that you can stay current on the classes and the special events that are coming. Back in April, Judy Coates Perez was here with us for a three-day Paint-a-Palooza. They dyed their fabrics, stamped them, embellished, and created one-of-a-kind unique fabrics that were then used in an improvisational quilt project. Angelina did a beautiful job of putting hers together and then finishing it off using her walking foot for some straight-line quilting. If this is something that you've been thinking about and wondering how you can utilize the straight stitches on your machine um, versus doing free motion quilting, Angelina is going to be doing a class in the fall called Walk This Way. Another great resource for finishing your projects using your walking foot is Jackie Gearing's Mastering Machine Quilting with Your Walking Foot. Now another way that you could finish this off and add even a little bit more visual texture is by using the Sashiko machine. I love this machine because what it does is gives me a hand look stitch in a fraction of the time. So I'll put my quilted fabric up underneath. Now you can use quilted fabrics with this, you can use garment fabrics, you can anything really that's going to go underneath the presser foot and that you want to add a touch of hand look embellishment to. It's going to be perfect with your Sashiko. Right now I have the machine set with the longest stitch length and the longest distance or stitch spacing. Now I can adjust those stitches, just the stitch length if I want to, so that each of these little individual pick stitches will be shorter. I can also adjust the spacing, and right now I have it at the widest spacing, so I can bring it down to something a little smaller if I want a more detailed look to my stitches. I can use the edge of my presser foot to keep those rows of stitching equidistant if I want them very, very close together. I can also use the guide if I want them further apart. Now I love this for finishing off a quilt to give me kind of a hand look effect, but this would also be beautiful on garment sewing if you want the look of a hand pick stitch top stitching. You could add some cords across the top and then after each stitch crisscross them to couch those cords in place and it looks like a hand chain stitch. You could also, once you're finished, come back through with heavier cords and weave them in and out of the stitches that are created with the Sashiko. And while I'm using nice straight stitches here, you can sew in curves as well. So if you've ever seen traditional Sashiko style embroidery, you can recreate some of those beautiful, beautiful effects with your Sashiko machine. So be sure to stop by this weekend and visit with us in any of our four Meisner sewing locations.